The Connecticut River Valley is full of college students, and like throughout the country, many are experiencing high hurdles on graduating. According to Forbes and grad staff, during the past decade, student loan debts have risen 150 percent, and 86 percent of students don't have jobs to go to on graduating. So what's happening? Chelsea's a recent grad looking to land a job. Growing up, she loved law enforcement and computers. She earned a bachelor's in criminal justice and a master's in cybersecurity. But when she looked for employment, couldn't get hired. So I didn't know this. I thought if I get a master's degree, I'll be able to get a job. I found out the hard way <laughs> that I need these certificates and this training. And it's honestly, I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> when I graduate, like, what am I going to do? At night after work, Chelsea takes courses at Porter and Chester Institute. They offer the technical experience and certificate training needed for a job in cybersecurity. Her professor, Laura Noyes, explains why many employers are increasingly seeking technical qualifications. Even if you go to college and you get a degree, but you don't have any experience, how does the employee know that you actually worked on anything or really understand how stuff works? Additionally, the transition from college to career has changed from what it was a generation ago. Today, hiring is mostly done online, and entry-level positions, those that haven't been automated or gone overseas, often require additional skills that corporations no longer train for, or they don't cover the cost of living with record high student loan debt. It's impacted me a lot. Ever since I graduated college, I had to live with my, my family and um, be able to you know, pay my car bill, my health insurance, and especially the number one thing is paying back my student loans. I will be okay, you know, if I get the job in this field. The only problem is, you know, look at someone that would just give me a chance. Reporting from Northampton, this is Justin Marsh.